Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, and it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God, some people here forbear. Trust. Trust. Going into the definition for the word trust, it means to have faith, a firm belief in something, no, no, no matter what's going on. You're going to trust in it no matter what people are saying. You're going to trust in it no matter how things are looking, no matter how things are going. You're going to trust in it. That's the kind of faith we have been given from Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord said we can't lean into our own understanding. We, we can't make our own decisions. No, we, we trust in the Lord. Let, let wisdom meet us at every thought. Things getting rough, things getting hard. This devil coming down with great wrath. He's getting ready to make it mandatory that you take that C hip in order to buy and sell and get some food, have have shelter. Lord said, trust in me. Don't lean into your own understanding. Stick to the scriptures. People coming with slander and tactics and all this other nonsense, trying to defame us. Stick to the scriptures. Trust in the Lord. Let's get it again. Just something quick. I'm about to head out. Lord, want to get this daily bread. It's, 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 all of it is almost over, too. Working for these heathens, clocking in, clocking out, working for pennies. Getting up early in the morning. Obeying they so-called laws. They so-called they wicked laws. Putting up with all this BS. It's, it's almost over. That's why the Lord said, just trust in me. Let's get this again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Just something quick. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord. Have faith in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, right? Have faith in them with all thine heart, with all your mind. And lean not into thine own understandings. Never take things, because the, the carnal flesh, man, it wants to do something. The carnal flesh wants to do its own thing. And the, the, that flesh don't want to listen to nothing. But the Lord said, use that mind and pay attention. Don't lean into your own understanding, thinking that you know what's good for you. Or I wrote down in the scriptures what's good for you. St stick to it. And yeah, it may be hard sometimes and you get aggravated, you get frustrated, demons messing with you, people messing with you, things happening. But the Lord said, no matter what, lean not into thy own understanding. Easier said than done, but we, we got to do it. Because if, if not, we'll get ourselves in a whole world of trouble, right? It says, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So we constantly pray to the Lord, no saying that he directs our path in the way of truth. Be not wise in thine own eyes, because you got a whole lot of that going on. You see? Like the scriptures say, he that thinketh himself to know something when he know of none, he's a fool. He deceives himself, right? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. See, it's all about that fear, which is the beginning of knowledge. And depart from evil. The scriptures tell us to uh, abstain from any appearance of evil. You, you ain't hanging around the wrong guys. You ain't seen in this place. You ain't seen in that place certain things you're not going to do. Abstain from all appearance of evil. I want to get this too. This is like I said before, just something quick. I'm about to head out, Lord's will. Just want to get something quick. Just woke up just thanking the Lord that he put his spirit and he still has his spirit on me to just trust. You see, no matter what the situation is, trust in the Lord. Sirach so chapter 2, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse, um, I, I'm, I'm going to be jumping around. We'll start at 1 first. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. It's, it's going to be a constant fight. That flesh against the spirit. 
the spirit against the flesh each and every day. Each and every day is going to be a fight. Set thy heart, meaning they mind all right, and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Look, remember, cleave unto the Lord and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And that's when, that's when that trust really got to kick in. The trust in the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, really got to kick in. When you're being brought to a lower state, the Lord said, take it cheerfully. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. It's just a test. It's just a trial. Just be just being tried. The Lord turning up the heat, though. To every, to every brother's and sister's measure, the Lord turning up some heat. Plus, the Lord knows how much heat we could take, you know? The Lord knows how much pressure we could take. Believe in him. Tr look, trust in him. Have faith in him. And he will help thee. See? Trust in the Lord, and he's going to come through. He always have. Just, just when you're about to give up your last breath and you're about to give up all hope, here come the Lord. Because you trusting in him. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Remember, depart from evil. Order thy way aright. Do the right thing, and trust in him. I just want to jump down for process of time. Verse 10, so right chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see the ever any trust in the Lord. Like I said before, just a basic lesson on trusting in the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Look at the generations of old. All our forefathers, you can name all of them. From Noah to Moses, Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego, Daniel in the fiery furnace. The Maccabean brothers, you know what I'm saying, and their mother, all of them trusted in the Lord. And, and yeah, they went through some things. All our forefathers and foremothers, they all went through something. We're going to go through something. But at the end of the day, they trusted in the Lord and wasn't confounded. They were delivered out of all those different situations. Even if it meant death, they were still delivered out of that situation. They didn't have to, once they gave up the spirit, they didn't have to suffer anymore. The Lord said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. It says, did any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? That's a big fat no. Or did any abide in his fear? Here we go, here we go with fear again. Here we go with fear again. Which is pretty much fear is, um, no matter, matter, matter we'll, get, we'll get it right quick. Let's just get it. Like I said before, this ain't going to be long. Just want to get fear right quick. Um, let's see. Um, I just seen it. Yeah. Fear. And uh, so now an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. That's why we trust in the Lord, because when we start leaning to our own understanding, here comes the pain. <laughs> you see? Here comes the pain. Here comes the unpleasant emotion. Here comes, here comes something happening to us. When we stop trusting in the Lord, here, here goes something happening. Something going to happen. Look at the Jakes to stop trusting in the Lord. So, something eventually happened. And I want to finish that scripture off. Something eventually happened. And it's how we start trusting in the Lord. Remember, cargo slave ships? That's us not trusting in the Lord. Something eventually happens. Let's read this. Finish reading this right quick. So rock 2 and 10, look at the generations of old and see there ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Right? Or did he, uh, no, no. Did, look at the generations of old and see there ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? None. Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? None. None whatsoever, man. Let's get a couple more. Just to hit the point and I'm gone. Let's see. Go through a couple of these right quick. 
Um, Psalms 180, we go through these all the time. It's all about repetitiveness. The father of skills, right? Psalms 118 and 8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in a man. You, you got our people, they stop trusting in the Lord. Now they believe in sleazy. That's why they do all this damn voting. You're doing all this campaigning for sleazy eat. Going, going from door to door, passing out pamphlets, just walking up and down the concrete, walking all up and down the street, riding around through different cities, campaigning. Campaigning, man, for sleazy eat. When the scriptures say Psalms 118 and 8, it is better to trust in the Lord. The Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, than to put confidence, than to put your faith in man. Now, and I want to get that too right quick. I want to get that. Put more confidence in a man than the creator of everything. That, that, and that, you know, that's mind-boggling right there. That's a person that's that has really lost it. Lamentations chapter 4. You put your trust in a man that can, that can lie to you. Instead of putting your trust in the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, they don't lie. The Scriptures say the Heavenly Father can't lie. His only begotten Son can't lie. But you put your trust in liars. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, the Hebrew Israelites, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched, <coughs> Salakia, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You see that? You trusting in a nation that can't save you. But the power that can save you, you don't trust them. You don't believe in them. Ain't that something? That's mind-boggling. The scriptures say, Cursed is he that put his trust in man. You put your trust in a man that can't save you. You put your trust in a man, a nation of people that was set up to just lie to you. You see? It, it, it's, it's crazy. Let's see. Just going through these right quick. Psalms 115 and 9. O Israel, a people before the place, trust thou in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Just going through some of them right quick. She's just showing you according to the Bible how important it is to trust in the Lord and not man. You see, Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he know of them that trust in him. Ain't, ain't no fool in the Lord. Ain't no fool in the Lord. You see? You, you, you can fool man, but you can't fool the Lord. <clears throat> it's like you. Let's see. Uh, Psalms 34 and 22. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate, meaning destroyed. So most definitely, it's better to trust in the Lord. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. As for the Most High, his way is perfect. That's who we trust in. A power whose ways are perfect. No flaws, no mishaps, no mistakes. As for the Most High, Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, his way is perfect. The word, the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. And all, that, all, that, all these scriptures are playing. You see? Psalm 73 and 28. But it is good for me to draw near to my power. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. I have put my trust in the Lord that I may declare all thy works. Yeah, just a basic lesson on just trusting in the Lord. The closer and closer we get to the end of this place, man. Pray for more faith. Pray for more trust. Pray for more endurance. You know, look, the Lord will give it to you. He's giving it to us now. I'm just looking through. Cause look, cause look. Remember, trust in the Lord, right? We, we got to throw this in here. So Rock chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust the enemy. Now, we just gave many plenty of scriptures on why we should trust the Lord. But then, but then here we, we got to close out with this perfect balance, right? We just gave you who to trust in. Now look, Sirach chapter 12, verse 10, never trust thy enemy. But you can always trust the Lord. You, you'll never be confounded trusting in the Lord. You'll never be forsaken trusting in the Lord. But look, never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Meaning he ain't going to never change. Just because he put on a suit, 
cut his hair, shave his beard. Look, look, he's still your enemy, all right? He gives you a check. He gives you a job. He's still your enemy. And the Lord say, never trust him. Just something quick, Lord, one of the elect was edified, trusted in the Lord. Shalom.